Hey guys and gals, and Ari here from Drake Wing Game, and it's something on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with, a, with another Let's Play episode of Roses in the Flames. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Alright. Thank goodness. Snowy walked behind me to check on something. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just seeing if that was Burdock Root from behind you. Is it a Burdock Root or whatever it is? Nope. I feel like this was getting awkward. So, what's your name? I'm Nary. I'm sorry, what was that? Nary. I said more shyly and quietly. Nary? That's your name? Nary. Every time I said it, I spoke softer each time, and I felt like wanting to crawl into a hole and hide. I don't think I want to get to know these dragons personally. I need to find a way to get back to my home, to my family and friends. So, what do you like to do for fun? Suddenly that other dragon was coming back through the bushes, and I didn't answer Snowy's question. Hey, Magma, guess what? It has a name! Oh really? It has a name? Why don't you share it for me? I was hesitant to do so at first, but I feared if I didn't give it, something bad was going to happen. It's Nary. Thank you. So, anyway, I found this big fish that was almost as big as my head, and that thing was tasty. What was it? Oh, it was one of those Dreamweaver dart fishes. Oh, I want some. I'm kidding, I'm not that hungry anyway, even for a Dreamweaver fish. What's a dream of what now? A Dreamweaver dart fish is one of the best tasting types of fish out there. You should try some. Even you can't say no to that. Anyway, we should get going, all right? Yeah, wait, I thought you wanted to get water though, Nary. Yeah, um, excuse me. I don't think I had any water since earlier this morning, whatever time I'm in. The two dragons kindly stepped aside for me so I could get myself a drink, but I could see the red one was keeping a sharp eye on me. Anything else? Nope. You know, you could address me as Dr. Snowy. <gasps> She's a doctor dragon. If that's okay with you. No, they won't, Snowy. We aren't spending any more time getting to know this thing. But we're going, and I suggest you keep your mouth shut. In fact, I want to make it clear you aren't talking unless spoken to for the rest of this trip, got it? Magma, you don't have to do that. We're going. Come on. Oh, that's a cool CG background. We stopped again at the end of the forest. I have this off-putting feeling. This place feels magical somehow, and I can't quite place it. Well, you said it before that dragons don't exist on a mass scale, which we do, by the way. Secondly, I think we're about a mile or so from the Drakenshire. Not quite. We're about five miles away. I'm surprised we haven't encountered Winter's Patrol yet. The two dragons collectively agreed unanimously to look upon me for no apparent reason. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, now upon having another look, it truly is ugly. I think it looks unique, Magma. Why would you say something like that? Yeah, why would you say something like that? I rolled my eyes. Oh, which reminds me, I should have met her in the patrol she was sent with in Weeferik. In Weeferik Valley, like we agreed. Only, they must be wondering where I am right now and that they are looking for me. Which further puts them at risk of being ambushed by exterminators. Magma, I'm sure they're okay. They might be back already. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Excuse me, I just don't want to find them dead in the woods somewhere. Well, the faster I'm there, the faster you'll find them, so I'd appreciate it if we flew there. Maybe we should. I'm not dumb. That thing could fall off that thing could fall off of our backs and plunge to its death. Remember what happened last year with that one dragon who had another dragon riding on the first one with no wings on his back at the Ace Wings Festival last year? I remember. Exactly. And then Bargret withdrew from that tournament because those pair of dragons didn't prepare enough for which led them to one of them falling to his death. It meant the whole world to Margaret, a tournament, and now she usually keeps to herself. Oh yeah, how's Margaret doing, by the way? Other than being depressed all the time, she's fine. I don't think she wants to harm herself, though. And yet, and she still works at, the, at that diner cafe. She'll be alright. I hope so, and I want to get going now, okay? I suppose we should get going, yes.
Four more miles came and went. Judging from what Magma said about how far we walked, and I didn't care if I, I didn't care if I were to die today because I'm so tired from all of that walking. And since dragons can fly, we could have saved ourselves the time. But of course, that has to have any that has to have an ego problem. This is torture. What are you talking about? All this walking is killing me. Could could one of you please carry me on your back? Nope. You're walking there. I'm not carrying you on my back. I looked to Snowy, who... It looked like Snowy wanted to help, but, as usual, the other dragon didn't allow it. I'll do a checkup on you when we get to the hospital. Thank you. Since you complied, I suppose I'll let you go down with Snowy after we leave the courtroom and process you in jail. It doesn't have to go to jail. We can take it to the courtroom if that's okay. Fine. Yes, good. The borders of town are up ahead. Thank goodness. Finally, I can get some help. Help! Help me, I'm... Mm. Magma, don't hurt it. Neri, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. No, you betrayed me! Listen! Snowy! It was the other red dragon Snowy was, was with, and I was being strangled within her coils. She waited patiently for her chance to get me, and when I wasn't looking, and she effectively managed to subdue me without incident. She wrapped her tail around my neck, and before I knew it, I blacked out. Oh, it was the entire demo. Oh, my... God! I want more! Oh, I want more! It's so good! Well, alrighty then. I suppose that's it for now. Uh, this game has a lot of promise, y'all. I really like the art and such. I'm seeing some, re I'm seeing some recycled stuff from, uh, Angels with Broke- uh, Angels with Scaly Wings, or, yeah, Angels with Scaly Wings. But, I mean, I'm sure that a lot of, like, um, people who work on these visual novels are drawing from, like, the, uh, the- library of backgrounds that are available on some sites and such. I mean, it, it, it cuts costs. Also, it, it does look nice. It, it's, it's a village. It's a pretty nice looking village. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Please go check this out. It's awesome. I think it should be up on itch.io. Um, Roses in the Flames. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank you all for I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold-tier patron, Terezum Guy. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for summing to your ultimate tier. Anyway, um, I suppose we could spend a couple minutes talking about a couple things. Um... I would like to see more of the exterminators. Um, I wonder if they're different than just normal dragons. Like, maybe it's a weird Mad Max kind of scenario where they're just, like, decked out in, like, metal and piercings and skulls and they look like they live in a Badlands or something. I don't know. It's just an idea. Um, yeah, there's a lot of directions this world can go in. I, I'm very interested in possibly exploring more of this world, going to different regions and such, if the narrative will allow it, of course. But, yeah. Anyway... I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!